So guys, for the first method, you wanna head over to search and type in mouse settings. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna scroll down and then click on additional mouse settings. And now this will come up. So if you're using a laptop, there's gonna be a tab right here saying touchpad. You wanna click on that tab that says touchpad. There will now be an option around here saying enable touchpad. Make sure that you enable it. So then once you enable your touchpad, you wanna click on okay. See if that works for you. If that's still not working for the second method, you wanna head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to expand mice and other pointing devices. Now you want to find your mouse. You want to right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search automatic for drivers. Make sure that you have the best drivers for device installed. If that's still not working though, you want to go back and then click on browse computers for drivers and then click on every pick from a list. And now you want to install the driver that you think is most applicable to your laptop. It's probably going to be your laptop model name or your manufacturer name. If you've only got generic drivers though, you can try all of them. So I'm going to do this one. I'm going to click on next. You now want to install that, see if that works for you. For the next method, you want to head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, we're going to type in msdt.exe space dash id space keyboard diagnostic. Click on enter. And now this will come up. Click on next. Wait for this to load. If it detects anything, it will try to fix it for you. If that's still not working, we're going to close out of this. Now we're going to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and I click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. Wait for this to load. You want to wait for this scan to get to 100% complete. Wait for this to load. Once you complete the scan, you then want to restart your computer. And now hopefully this will not fix your problem. 